In many cases, you need some geometries to help you define dynamic blocks. So in this class, you'll learn how to work with this type of geometry, named construction geometry. You will also study about how to view the geometry parameterization status, which are tools that enable you to know if your parameterization is concluded or not. So let's start studying about construction geometries. These geometries are sketched using native AutoCAD drawing tools. After sketching the geometry, you need to select the elements which will be changed into construction geometries. The next step is to enable the construction tool used for entity conversion. See how after enabling the tool, there are two options displayed, Convert and Revert. The Convert option is used to convert the entity into construction geometry. However, the Revert option is used to change a construction geometry back into a common entity. When you convert an element into a construction geometry, it's no longer displayed as a block inserted in a project. These elements are useful for specifying geometric and dimensional constraints in elements which do not have any defined points of reference. You can even use these entities, for example, as a reference in applying flip and alignment actions. So as you can see, using construction geometries can help to apply constraints and actions. However, when you design an AutoCAD project, the following issue may come up. How can you know if the geometry is already defined or completely parameterized? AutoCAD displays the Constraint Status tool to clear up this doubt. When this tool is enabled, it displays elements in different colors. To identify if the entities are completely constrained or not. Entities are displayed in the following default colors for each particular case. No constraint, white. Partially constrained, blue. Totally constrained, magenta. Conflicting constraints, red. These are default display colors, but you can change these settings by clicking this arrow. The block editor settings are displayed in a dialog box. The constraint status is a group of options in this box. You can change the colors here to display constraint levels applied to the block. So in this class, you've learned how to use construction geometries helping to define a parametric or dynamic block. You also learned how to know if a block is completely defined or not regarding inserted geometric and dimensional constraints.